Dr. Gulliver, more men have become ill. What are we to do? Is there medicine for this? They need food, not medicines. Unfortunately, the captain isn't even a real pirate. No real pirate captain would sacrifice his crew. Oh, oh. This medicine should put you to sleep for some time. Just hang on for one more night. Incompetent fools! Unacceptable! The ships of Chinese gold are here! Why have we not found them? Why have you dogs not found them? Sir, the sailors are starving. You expect these men to spy galleons? To fight? They can barely stand on their watches. Some are near death. How dare you speak to me like that? The only things they can see are the crumbs they've been fighting the rats for. We need to put into the nearest port, get food and fresh water immediately. Dr. Gulliver, you forget your place. I'm the captain. I give the orders here. You hired me to see after the health of your crew, which is what I am doing. Your greed is endangering the whole expedition and everyone on it. Doctor. Stop. Someone must speak up. Do you all want to die to enrich this man's purse? One more word and I won't bother with the plank. I'll have you keel hauled. All of you. How utterly exuberant of you, Captain. I must make a note of your generosity in my diary. Oliver? <sighs> Look at the sky. What is this thing? Have you ever seen anything like this? It does not seem like a natural part of the earth or the heavens. We need to get everyone to safety. The storm is upon us! Tamiana, where have you been? I've been so worried. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll find him. You'll find him soon. Tamiana! Uh. Uh. Earth is this? Agava <coughs> Dagla? What am I going to do now? I can't carry them both. Perhaps it's safest to hide them. Hello. 
Giddy up! We must bring the news of this giant to Littlefoot Town and be the first to tell everyone. Everyone, listen! I have news for you! But Lagla, but Lagla, little podians, we are being invaded. A giant has landed ashore. Please, fellow people, hear me. My wife and my daughter, Tamiana, they're back at the beach. They fainted there, and I can't carry them. Please, good citizens, I need your help. Oh, that's a great story, old Perhaps man. Perhaps we should see if what this man says is true. Who will join me? We will see if there's a giant. Or just a giant tail. <laughs> we must disable him while he is tired, or our town will surely be destroyed. And you, you are not to utter a word to the Emperor's mayor about any of this. All hangovers looked this beautiful. Best enjoy this stage of things while I can. People, you must be quiet, huh? Step quietly. The giant must not hear our approach. Hey, can't you hear that bell? Thank you. I have eaten very well. No, not that. Your cap is making noise. Can't you hear old Butterbridge's complain? My brain? Oh, my brain's quite good. I was stood first in my class. But shouldn't you be quieter right now? Giant might hear. Uh. Ow! What? Ow! That hurts. You're being mean. Mother, wake oh, up. Oh, Tamiana. Where are we? Where's your father? Well, that's not scary. That's funny. Look at the size of that human. Agavatlagla, <laughs> you were not lying. Who is this? What is this? Citizens, you must be quiet. Very quiet. Right, you there. Keep coming. Yes. Now let's bring the crane over here. Quietly, quietly. Yes, yes. Very good. The whole story if you free me. Do you think you're in a position to parley with us? Ouch! Be still and answer our questions, or we will be forced to disable you further. Yeah, you're like mice. Get off Soldiers, me. be alert! Come over to this side! Be ready to fire! You, come here! You too! Get Tom some Yana, this is not a safe All place. We should get back to the village. No, Mama, I'm staying. So many are wounded. I want to stay and help. We begin this fight in earnest. Helgo Finak! Ouch! Stop moving, or we will have to paralyze you completely. 
think you can? We can kill you before the next blink of your eyes. Archers, make ready. One, two. Don't shoot. I, I won't move. Now that's a much better show of manners. Perhaps we shall not have to kill you, giant. Finnecko, come here, please. Until we figure out a system to dispose of his hideously large body, we cannot kill him. Figure out something, quickly. Uh, Archer Brownbottom, bring my horse. I'm off to see the Emperor. You watch the sleeping monstrosity. Uh, uh. This is not the time for a celebration. A giant has landed ashore. May I ask everyone except Flimna, my chief astrologer and redresser, most able public administrator, to kindly withdraw from the platform. Your Majesty, it's huge, vast, humongous, but I have secured it on the beach. Must be a curse by our rivals from Blafescu. <laughs> Sage Flimnap, why was the giant's arrival not predicted? Sire, these matters are most vexing, most difficult to explain. I was busy calculating the influence of the planet Saturn and- No more explanations. Figure out how to best get rid of this, this giant, this curse. Yes, Majesty, but these things are most Difficult. We cannot let this feud go on. It's obviously gotten out of hand, even past the eyes of my chief astrologer. The time has come for me to take revenge. Hergo, make the armies ready. We must go to war with Blefesco. Majesty, our armies are not ready. Immobilizing the giant took all of our strength. We need to build a stronger force to win against Blefesco. Well, start building the force and- My, my liege. Now is not the time for a war. The treasury is low. Instead, let us finally make peace with the kingdom of Blefescu. That can happen only after my death. <laughs> mm. 
more of your childish dreams of peace, Redressal. And they say that astrologers walk about with their heads in the clouds. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get some food? Something to eat! If you don't feed me, you won't have to bother with these ropes for much longer. I'll just starve to death. I believe he wants some food. Thanks. What a relief. Will you tell us about yourself? Lemuel Gulliver, first surgeon on Her Majesty's ship Antelope, from England. Now completely destroyed in a great unnatural storm. So there was a storm. We saw strange clouds. Do you know Saputra? Mm. I have no idea, miss. Is he one of your people or mine? Tell your elders to untie me. I'm no animal for your zoo. Margot Thelgo Fanak! Calm down, will you? I promise I don't want to hurt anyone else. Peplom? Salon! Hey, you don't have to do that. I'll keep quiet. Please, dear, eat something. <laughs> not eating will not bring Suputra back. I can't eat. We can't live without him. And I can't bear to see you this way. We'll see. There must be something I can do. Dear Tamayana, <laughs> I know my son Suputra is alive. I will find him. <laughs> I will find him soon. You are my only hope. <laughs> now stop crying, Anit. My daughter-in-law should look like a princess for her wedding, not like a waterfall. Citizens, take heed. Do not venture close to the trolley. Tamiana, pull up your shoes. Oh, Tamiana, careful. Ow! Uh. Ow! Uh. Uh. <coughs> Arrest them. I want these four men executed. You don't, Adam Adam. You had my first assassin executed. I want the giant killed right away. This 
giant has upset all of our plans. The Emperor of Lilliput is preparing for war with your kingdom. I don't bribe you to give me bad news. Delay the attack. Otherwise, you will find My your... Lord, these things are quite vexing, quite difficult to explain. I'll do something. You don't! Why didn't you order the giant's death instead of trying to impress that Tamayana girl? Now everyone is angry and our plans are in peril. I didn't know. It's idiots like you that make life vexing and hard to explain. If you don't influence the Emperor and have this stupid giant killed, I myself will see that Tamayana and Suputra are married. Suputra is still alive? No questions! If you want to win the favor of the girl, do what I say. And come back! with good news. Wow, this place looks just like... Ah. This might burn a little. After what I went through, this is nothing. Please do not try to escape. Your fate will be decided by the Emperor soon enough. Oh, it feels so good to be able to stand and walk. Ah, oh, no! You are in perfect health, except for some bruises here and there. Thanks. It's my duty. I'm the local doctor here. Sir, could I possibly show him around this temple? It would be good for him to move about, get his blood circulating again. You can as long as he still wears his chains. We do not want him moving about too easily. This cave is where the entire town of Lilliput gathers on special occasions. On your way here, did you meet anyone by the name of Saputra? Before I tell you, is there some way I can escape from this island? I feel sorry for you, but I've never known anyone who left Lilliput or even wanted to leave. Too bad. I think if you knew how I could get off the island, I might be able to remember something about, uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, Suputra. Um, maybe you could ask our emperor about a ship. Good and mighty emperor. May I suggest that we may engage some scholars to teach him more languages? He may have valuable information for the advancement of industry, even diplomacy. At least you could say your final prayers in our language. <laughs> Did the King of Plafescu send you here to kill us? Sir, I was sent here by no one except this giant storm which left me beached upon your shores. I wish no harm to you or your people and do not know of this King Blafiscu or his kingdom. I need a ship to get back to England. Something's not right. Majesty, this creature is obviously dangerous. Why would an outsider tell us of such a plot? Let's get him out of the way. We can worry about disposing of the remains later. Skyrush, sometimes I'm reminded of how young and impulsive you are. <laughs> Please help me. I'm innocent. Build me a ship immediately. Otherwise... Give him his last meal. You folks can be my last meal! Oh, you come down? Oh you think this will improve your situation? Think you can get rid of me so easily, huh? 
Plug your ears, little men and women, unless you want to hear bodies being crushed. <laughs> ah, giant! True power comes from one's heart, not one's muscles. Haven't you read Shakespeare? Here's another question for you, big man. How tall do you think you are? What? I'm six feet tall. <laughs> but giant, I am six feet tall. I too am six feet tall. What do you mean? Neither of you are taller than my hand. What is to you an inch, we call a foot. Here you are 72 feet tall. Lilliputians are excellent mountaineers and mathematicians. Yeah! See how you do with this one. If Sister Susie stitched sweaters selling 77 and 66 shops sold the sweaters at seven shillings, how much did Sister Susie sell? Ah, I'm no match for you, little folks. <laughs> you have all been unable to help me. Saputra, my one true love has disappeared into the cold, cruel sea. I cannot live without him. Come on, giant. Kill me! Cool it, Doctor, and please, <laughs> stop crying. I'm... I'm sorry. Blefescu's <laughs> curse. Planet Saturn will soon move into our orbit. This is a highly inauspicious time. Horrible things are more likely to happen to our people. Bad luck abounds! If we are going to keep him any longer... Just kill him, my lord. There is nothing in the legal code protecting giants. Yes, and then his dead body begins to rot. Who knows what kind of pestilence this creature carries with him. An epidemic of plague will kill all of us, and then no one will have to worry about the planet Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! Sir, I have a suggestion. Is it a good one? If so, please speak. Why don't we use Gulvar to attack Blefescu? Either they will kill him, or he will destroy Blefescu. Both of our problems will be Millions. solved. We do not need a giant to destroy our rivals. Lilliputians are brave, strong, and resourceful. We ourselves shall destroy Blefescu. With you as general, leading the charge, can you wield a spear with that crystal ball? <laughs> <laughs> I think not. Enough! Let me talk to this man, Mountain. Perhaps a deal can be struck. Sire, I still feel that if we can come to some kind of a peaceful settlement... No. Mighty Emperor, here he is, Gulliver, the giant. Good morning, Gulliver. Thank you, thank you. I am willing to keep this man as an official guest, provide him with good food and even one new suit of clothes. Respected Emperor, I thank you for your hospitality and a new suit of clothes would be welcome. It'll keep your tent makers in good business, at least. But I am not of this place. Please, build me a ship and let me go home. If we can make you a suit, we can build you a ship. But we have a favor to ask of you in return. What is it that I can do for you? First, you must swear a peace with me and my kingdom. I swear. Emperor Gulbasto, to you and your people, that I will not harm you or your kingdom. Next, could you empty your pockets and surrender your belongings? Gulliver, what is this strange tube with a loop? Whoa. 
Perhaps I should inspect this um, apparatus. Careful, have you never seen a pistol? Yes. That's a dangerous weapon you're strolling next to. You will soon learn that we of Lilliput are not the type to be frightened. Gulliver, your pistol tube has brought some joy to our people. Except perhaps to our police chief. <laughs> it's, it's my pleasure, Emperor. But you still have to tell me, what can I do for you? Simply be ready, Gulliver. The Emperor will tell you what he needs when the time is right. There is much to be consulted before any action can occur. And when will my ship be ready? We have a saying here, Gulliver. Patience is a virtue. Perhaps you have a similar saying where you come from. Our Emperor is an honorable man. Soon you'll be set free. This will be very complex, very difficult to explain. If the giant fights for the Lilliputs, Blefescu will be completely destroyed. How can I face the Emperor of Blefescu with this horrible development? I'll kill Gulliver before midnight. Absolutely not. Our Emperor is not stupid. He will get suspicious. No, you have to make Gulliver commit a serious offense. And then... <laughs> and then we pull the knot tight. I will train all my magic upon the giant. I will subdue him utterly. After that, no one in the kingdom will dare dispute my power. Then shall I finally get to marry Tamayana, your gardener's daughter? Her father could not possibly refuse your suggestion. Yes, yes, you will have your reward. But before that, you have much to do. Dargo, this is so hard, my girl. But no woman ever had it easy in Lilliput or in marriage. Old monk Flimnap is putting pressure on your poor father. Saputra is gone. Can't you agree to marry Skyresh? I'd rather drown than give my hand to that vile leech. His true love is power. My true love is Saputra. May Buddha give you wisdom to accept that fate is not always kind to the dreams of women. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hang on a little while longer, my girl. Flame map and his little lackey be cursed. You will marry Saputra and no one else. Your Majesty, our army is in top four if Gulliver is instructed to destroy their navy. Their ground troops will be absolutely no match for us. They may even surrender immediately. Our true victory will come when both the kingdoms live in peace. I have made a decision to go to war, and it is final. Don't waste your time with tired words. We must march. Oh, mighty Emperor. Our stars are not yet favorable until two full moons have passed. We must not act in haste, or our victory could be compromised. Bad things keep happening since the giant's arrival. Let us send him back to his country, where he will do us no more damage. I have consulted the auguries, both obvious and arcane. They all say that if we use him to fight, our whole kingdom will perish. Let us not take a chance, my lord. Just to be safe, we will plan our attack for two moons from now. With Gulliver. Skyrish, I want an order decreed that for the next two, two moons... moons the giant known as Gulliver may not come into the city without being summoned by royal decree. He will not leave his cave unless... Now that's going too far. I've pledged 
peace with your Silence. emperor. After two moons have passed, he will help in the destruction of Blafescu, our sworn yeah! enemy. You can't seriously expect me to fight your war. You promised our emperor a favor. Remember, disobedience carries the penalty of death on the island of Lilliput. After that, will he be given a ship and set free? On our victory, our wedding, <clears throat> I mean his ship, will be ready and he will be set free. Good morning, Mr. Gulliver. What are you looking at? It's a picture of my family. I know how it feels to be away from family. I can't wait to see my son, Saputra. Suputra? Saputra? Where have I heard that name before? Now I remember. That girl, Tamayana, has been asking me about someone named Saputra. Is it your son she's mooning after? You people are so little. And yet your problems are as big as any in my kingdom. The problem is that the Emperor is being manipulated. Flimnep has convinced him that astrology will predict and find a solution to all his problems. Now we of Lilliput wear low heels, and people of Lefescu wear high heels. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Can't we just get them together in the same room? Oh, it's too late. I've already tried. But why should I get into this war mess? This is none of my concern. You promised the Emperor a favor. Yes, a favor, not my life. From what I've seen of your technology, one of your gunboats could mortally wound me, even kill me, leave me floating in your harbor like a giant whale. One can never tell what is a blessing. What? You're a doctor in your world, right? End some suffering while you're here. Cleanse an infected organ. Close a festering wound. Thank you so much. Can we meet somewhere? Alone? I'd like to see the place in Lilliput where I could hide. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe I'll come and see you in the cave, if that's all right by you. Outside of the temple is directly disregarding the orders of the Emperor. Go back, or you will go on report. You know the consequences of disobeying the Emperor. Yes, my lord, but it was suggested I could be useful while Please I Please was... leave now. Hey, uh, hey, hey, put me down. Put me down. <sighs> okay, all right, okay. Thank you, Gulliver. It's my pleasure. I'll see you very soon, old man. Are a card, you pin-brained university reject! You had better think of something to get rid of that giant quick, or Suputra will find his way back and claim Tamayana. I'm thinking hard, but it's just so vexing, so hard to explain. The Emperor of Blefescu will not accept failure. Neither will I! There are no books to consult about this problem. I'll think of something, my lord. Sir, I will. the Baranatya dance is about to start. In a minute, in a minute. What is this dance? Somehow, I convinced our emperor that this particular dance will bring good luck to the kingdom. <laughs> you are just brilliant, sir. <laughs> Sangasama! Please bring on the musicians. Mr. Gulliver, why don't you show us some of your military tactics? Why not? All right. For starters, someone try to cross this. How about your efficient horseman? Keep your eyes on the course. This is my only opportunity for a promotion. I'm counting on you, my friend. Ah! Ah! 
I think we must have a wedding at the stables, or else our poor police chief won't survive another race. Thank you very much, Mr. Gulliver. My pleasure, Your Highness. Oh, Riley is dead and O'Malley don't know it. O'Malley is dead and O'Reilly don't know it. The both of them dead in the very same bed. Neither one knows that the other one's dead. Am I disturbing you? Oh! What can I do for you, little lady? Help me find my Saputra and bring him back from wherever he is. Do you know anything about where he was headed? They say he escaped to sea to save himself from Flimnap. I could spend a million years searching the sea and still not find him. Assuming I'm alive after tomorrow. Why was Flimnap after him, anyway? Saputra had invented a formula for making strong, decoratively explosive devices. Flimnap wanted the formula to adapt the invention for destruction. I also believe he was jealous of my Saputra's inventiveness. And your whole country believes in this old monk. I just know Flimnap kidnapped him and took him far away. I'll look for him on my way back. I'll try my best. Promise me. Promise me that you will find him. You haven't even told me what he looks like. Well, he's tall and he's handsome. And, well, he's not as tall as you, but he's tall and he's just so good looking and... My lord, the forces of Blefescu are stronger than the ones in Lilliput. We can definitely win if we find a way to kill Gulliver. Why don't we try poison? Our poison would do nothing. What about Saputra's explosives? He was able to launch streamers and confetti thousands of feet in the air. He even made some specially packed chemical dust burst into stars in the air. Surely such a thing could be used to ignite a giant. That fool just sees his explosives as toys amusements. He even talks about them as art. He refuses to talk to anyone about how to make them now. There is no one who cannot be persuaded. Flimnap is a charlatan, a magician with a few tricks playing the wizard. His tricks and prestige as the emperor's wonder worker are being threatened by your physical presence. You tell me stories of a charismatic madman inciting mob violence and expect me to be calm. Oh, my friend, do not worry so much. You are nearly unstoppable in this place. Or else you will all perish under the burden of this one-man colony. I'll give Redressel the peace he so craves. Skyrash, take this poison shooter and kill Redressel as he leaves the cave. Leave the shooter right inside the entrance. Everyone will think that Gulliver killed him in some fit of anger. Next, I'll have this news conveyed to his son, Suputra. Where exactly is Suputra? In the northern isle of Blefescu. The temple of Welgabloom has a well-appointed basement. <laughs> I'll soon be marrying your lover. We'll send news of Richressel's death to Suputra. He will surely want to take revenge on Gulliver. He will then use his explosives to kill the giant and any Lilliputians that happen to be around. <laughs> then we can hang Suputra for murder. For once, Skyresh, your brain has worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flimnap is hiding my son somewhere. I know it. Tamayana has so much faith in me. I could not keep from promising to find Saputra. Now I don't know where to stop. You shouldn't leave this cave. If the Emperor learns you have, without a doubt he will order your death. Goodbye, Gulliver. What 
are you doing? What are you doing here? Go back, please, go back. Don't get involved in this. You think I'm not involved in this already? You think I'm gonna spare you? I love you. Marry me, and I'll release Saputra. So you know where he is! My precious Saputra! Oh, you lying, scheming, spineless little man! Hi-ya! Uh -oh. Tamiana, are you all right? This... this Skyrush claims he knows something about Saputra. Look, I don't want to hurt you. All you have to do is tell me where Suputra is. Suputra is on his way to kill you. Me? I, I don't even it. know him. Why would he want to kill me? None of that now, for God's sakes. Where is Suputra? He's on Blefescu's northern island, in the basement cells of Temple Welgebloom. I'll go and get him. I'm coming with you. No! No! It's too dangerous a place, even for a giant. We will bring back Saputra with the army. Your High Holiness, news from Lilliput. The giant has murdered an innocent official named Redressel. Papa? Suputra? Your hour has arrived. Only you have the means to save both the kingdoms from this evil giant. Uh, what can I do against a giant? Your explosives, Suputra. Even a giant cannot stand against your powerful explosives. We will help you. The army and navy are at your disposal. You must avenge the death of your father. I'm going to need these things for the explosives. Tell the Emperor of Blefescu we are ready to go to war. Flagla! To the castle! Move! Blefescu attacks by sea! What? Blefescu attacking us? Blefescu attacks by sea! By land or by sea? By sea! Inform Hergo, our army and navy must be deployed. Hurry! Right away, Majesty. Stop! But, but, get down from the horse. I Hurry up! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Gulliver! Mr. Gulliver! Mr. Gulliver! Mr. Gulliver! How does one wake a giant? Mr. Gulliver, I command you, wake! Wake up! Mr. Gulliver! Oh! Ah! Uh. 
The Blathescuans are attacking! Get ready to fight! Almost burnt my nose! Your shipbuilders had better be fast. I command you, get ready! You must go and destroy Blafescu's navy. In the meantime, our army will be ready on the border. I must be dreaming. Can't be what it looks like. the fort. I must inform the commander. I've never seen anything like this before, sir. A giant swimming in the ocean. Poisoned arrows again. Fire! All of this, still this demon stand. Get some Poultra and his explosives. Tell him to kill the Emperor of Blefescu. Kill the Emperor of Blefescu! and wipe out the rest of those traitors! Your Majesty, I promised you a favor to fight for you and protect Lilliput, but I do not want to kill innocent people. Please, reconsider what you're asking. Are you refusing to obey my orders? You could put it that way, Your Highness. Commander Hergo, kill Gulliver at once! I feel so bad for you. Is there anything I can do for you? If I die, please inform my family. Leave this place. These heartless people don't deserve your loyalty, and they will kill you. Leave to Blefescu before they immobilize you. <laughs> and I'm coming with you. Oh. Ah. Let us put an end to this curse and free Lilliput! Felgu Finak! 
What now? Let me try something. I saw a monk from China. I do hope I what? get to see Saputra before. I oh! Explosives. Let me down, Gulliver. Put me down now. You'll get killed in this chaos. I'll lose track of you. Saputra is right over there. You're about to be shot. Saputra! Just listen to me. You can die in this chaos. Tamayana, don't! The giant returns. Kill him now, just as he killed your father. How better to test the most powerful explosives ever made? Saputra! What? Tamayana, what are you doing here? Don't listen to her! Get away from here, girl. You might get hurt. He lies. Redressal is alive. Your father is alive. Flimnap set this up to find the secret behind your invention. Gods, take this lunatic away! Hurry up and arm the explosives! You will not do this with my help. than your explosives. <laughs> to this evil, evil character. Go call your emperor. I'd like to see this settled once and for all. Go inform the emperor. I missed you. We feared for your life. I'm happy to see you too, Dad. Try to blame each other. This idiot is behind all your misunderstandings. Oh, come on. Someone say something. I don't care how you break your eggs, but please find some way to live with each other in peace while you argue about it. This is not going to be easy, I guess. Okay, since neither of you is willing, let me do the honor.
I can't hug for you guys. I... I am sorry. I, I never meant for these things to escalate. Once it started, I... <laughs> Enough, Galbasto. We both slipped into craziness. We were duped by the same fool. Let's remember what our people truly need. A life pursued in peace. <laughs> Guys, one last little thing. You guys have to decide what to do with them. My part's over. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Goodbye, Gulliver. Goodbye. Thank you so much for everything. Goodbye, Gulliver. I'll never forget you. Time to go home.
Thank mm-hmm. you.